there is literally thousands of dollars to be made when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization. If you're not familiar with what that is, go watch my last video. But this video is gonna be important because I want you to understand the four different types of SEO. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What's up everybody? My name is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another training video. Today's training video is part of a training series where we're talking about search engine optimization or SEO. SEO is a very important part of the marketing industry. It is huge. It is a way that you can create wealth and revenue and traffic for your business long term versus the short term approach. As we talked about in my previous video, SEO is like farming, whereas advertising is like hunting. If you want instant results, you got to go out there and spend money and you got to pay to play. But also, if you want organic results and you want to win long term, you need to go after the organic SEO. But there are four different kinds of SEO that I want you to remember. And what I did is I came up with a little acronym for it and we'll call it Vigo, like Vigo Morganson, you know, the guy on the horse and all those great movies. Well, Vigo stands for video image. What is the G for? Oh yeah, that's right. Google my business and organic. Yes, I'll say that again. Video, image, Google My Business, and organic. Those are the four areas that you need to be understanding in terms of SEO, and these are channels of SEO. A lot of people think just SEO applies to all SEO, but I want you to understand it on a more granular level, a little bit lower elevation. So when it comes to videos, I started doing videos here on YouTube a year ago, and over the last year, I've been learning how to SEO optimize my videos going from the titles of those videos, the descriptions of those videos, the thumbnails of those videos, the tags that are in those videos. These are all aspects of SEO. And what I had to realize through a lot of training and, and coaching and friends of mine in my network was that you have to go after one keyword and own that keyword on YouTube. YouTube is, is a search engine just like Google is. It's actually owned by Google. And so if you can actually own that keyword where somebody types in a specific keyword like graphic design or graphic designer or web designer and your video or videos show up, you have a very high chance of being clicked on. Obviously, the more videos you have that show up, the higher the chances of you being clicked on. So video is a very, very important one. That's why I'm spending the time with you guys here, creating videos on YouTube and on Facebook and other places, because I know that that is a search engine strategy that I'm gonna be able to funnel traffic for people that are searching for graphic design training, SEO training, all of these things that I'm gonna be able to funnel them back to my stuff. So very important. Then the next one, number two, is image. Image is really important because on Google Images, there are literally billions of images and there are people looking for images online. I know when I go do a search, half the time I actually go to hit Google Images first to see what comes up that visually matches. Image search is a highly sought out SEO strategy. There are lots of people looking for images and one of the things that you can do is create infographics. This is a great idea. If you take a long tail keyword like how to rank my website, quickly and you create an infographic around that or how to build a great brand or how to create a great logo or how to design a great flyer and you create an infographic around that and upload it to Google with the right keywords and the right descriptions on the right tags, that video will rank or that image, I'm sorry, will rank. So it's really important that you use image SEO in your strategies as well. I just wanna tell you a quick story. I've been uploading photos and images to Google My Business for the last couple of years. And through doing this, I think I've uploaded over 75 photos. And just those 75 photos alone have over 733,000 views. Those are photos that I've uploaded to specific Google My Business locations on behalf of that business as a customer. And that has allowed them to get massive exposure. There's one image in particular for a yogurt shop that has 147,000 views on it. How much exposure has that given to that local yogurt shop? How much revenue has that brought them because they've seen this amazing and delicious looking picture of frozen yogurt? So just an example of Google My Business images and how powerful it is, you need to be using that in your business and uploading photos to your Google My Business location. And number three is Google My Business. Google My Business is growing, it's increasing in popularity, and it's becoming more and more important for local businesses and national businesses to be able to reach their customers. There are businesses like myself where I have set up dozens, if not almost 100 different Google My Business locations for my clients in different industries, and I've optimized them and ranked them to get better visibility to get traffic coming in. 
I, the last I heard in the statistics were about 35 to 40% of all search traffic on Google is going to the maps. People are looking for local providers. That's a lot. That's more than one third of every single search that is people are going to the Google My Business. And then the last one, and this is number four, is your organic. If you scroll past the ads and you scroll past the, the Google My Business listings, and you might even scroll past a few videos, the next thing you're gonna see is the organic listings. Typically, there's about eight to 10 of them per page. There used to be more. There was about 12 to 14, but they have since reduced that down to about eight to 10. And you'll see there, there are people ranked like Yelp and some of the big companies. And then as you start to go down the page, you'll notice some smaller businesses or more local businesses. It, we, we wanna keep it fair, but these big players like Yelp and Design Crowd and some of these big ones have such a huge advantage with SEO that you'll probably never be able to catch up with them. So making sure that you're highly focused on geographical local SEO is very important. What I mean by geographical is centrally located to where your business is. If you're in Sacramento, making sure that you optimize everything organically for Sacramento. If you're in Roseville, organically rank it for Roseville. Just depends on the area. That's the way that I approach SEO and how I use it as a lead generation strategy. So just for as a recap, number one is video, number two is image, number three is uh, GMB, is your Google My Business, and number four is your organic. These are the four areas that you need to focus on with your SEO that are gonna give you huge rankings, huge traffic, and if you do this consistently, which is like I told you in the last video, you will see huge results. So that's my video for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.